You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome to Rom Wills About That Business. Riding trends. I'm going to tell you what. Um, one thing in a business, regardless of what's going on, you got to pay attention to trends because that can make or break your business. Like if say you're in a food business and the trend is hamburger, like you're selling hamburgers. That's a good thing. Me and my sons went to the hamburger joint usually once every couple of weeks, sometimes every week. Right. And I went to this one place. They had a new type of hamburger. And I noticed that they've had that um, in, a, you know, a few other places. Right. That's the trend. You got to be able to adapt to it. Or another thing with hamburgers, a lot of people are getting into handmade patties. Not like the uh, traditional patty where it's, uh, you know, it's just processed and everything. People making them by hand now. And they actually come out a little bit better in my opinion. But if you're in the food business, you might have to come into that. Or in the fitness business, one thing, an uh, interesting trend, like using these like little ropes or cables. I forgot what they call specifically. Right, I've noticed. In, I noticed that in my gym, like everybody's working out on it, except for apparently me. Even though uh, I got some training on it, I was like, eh, you know, kind of pulled a. Uh, felt like I pulled a uh, abdominal muscle doing that. So, but I noticed that, like, whatever business you in, you gotta ride the trends. Like uh, in my last podcast, I talked about, uh, you know, some trends on social media. That can actually help somebody like if you like say you're a YouTube commenter, right? If you if you keep up with the trends and just comment on them, that can keep you relevant. You can see what's going on and say, hey, this is what I want to do, especially for people who comment generally. Now, even if it's within a specific area, say you talk about makeup or something, right? You know, say, you, well, yeah, say you talk about makeup or something. So you got some new trends or whatever. Like in any business, one of the things that's important is to not only keep up with the trends, but just latest stuff, latest techniques and everything and then riding them. Because what happened is depending on and there's a lot of factors that cause this, like if say you have a celebrity that starts promoting something and all of a sudden that's the next hot thing. You got to be ready for it. Like you have some people, you have some businesses that actually create products to ride current trends. Right. Like if the trend is like some little fluffy uh, bear or something, they ready to make them. They ready. They come up and it's like, oh, yeah, we got this. Let me let me give this to you. <laughs> right. But this it is an important thing. Like whatever business you win, no matter what it is, it could be carpet cleaning. And, you know, they got a new machine out that can clean the carpet. You got to go with it. Right. Now, mainly with trends, you know, that's just, you know, research and development. But then you got the uh, uh, popular trends as far as, uh, you know, people talking about this, you know, people talking about a specific subject. Like like when the presidential, like the first Democratic presidential base are supposed to be in July. All right. But we might think now that we know what they are talking about, but it might be something else trending, something that happens. They might be talking about, you know, U U.S. could be at war with somebody. And so that's the thing to talk about or some uh, major event happened. So that's what we're talking about. So it's like, OK, they got to jump in those trends if they want to be relevant. See, any business, you want to keep up with everything you want. to, Like, uh, for example, publishing. Publishing. Now, I remember the days when publishing, you had a little bit of money. You print some hardcover books, but what started happening, people started getting into ebooks. Now, that's a trend. Now, you actually have some people who actually uh, became millionaires because they rode the trend. They were able to, to adapt to electronic books, right? And you got to see what's going on. Like, right now, ebooks, that's a, that brings me a significant amount of money every month without having to do anything. I actually like how it is now with printing books. I don't have to spend any money. I just collect the money, all right? That's the trend, all right? And it's like, okay, how can I take advantage of it? In fact, some people, like I said, some people have businesses where they purposely 
ride the trend. So that's that's important. That's very important. So anyway, pay attention, pay attention to the trends. See how you can use them, see how you can ride them. Now, sometimes it might not be beneficial to ride them. Hey, you keep doing what you're doing. You know, but always have that room for adaption in your business. So anyway, that's all I got for now. Let's go make that money. Oh.